Okay, so in today's society, mm -hmm. uh, being fruitful and multiplying has gotten really damn expensive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, yeah, yes. So, so, how are we supposed to do this when it's like financially next to impossible? I won't say that it's financially next to impossible, but okay. excuse me, but yeah, I absolutely agree with you. It's gotten very expensive. Again. Three kids, two of them teenagers. Yeah. In my own house, our food bill every month is insane. I cannot believe what I'm paying in food every month. Um, and so you're right. It's expensive. And then you add on top of that clothes and school supplies and doing any kind of extracurricular anything. Mm -hmm. It's expensive. And so you can tell them to just go raid the church pantry. <laughs> Right. Pastor's kids, right? <laughs> Get some chips. Um, you know, and so and some animal crackers. <laughs> right. And goldfish. And some little wafer things. <laughs> We're not stealing the communion stuff. <laughs> there's, there's a limit there's a limit to it. <laughs> you told us. <laughs> uh, that's why we use grape juice. Okay, so um but no, is it has gotten expensive, and I think it's a real issue. And I do not think there's anything wrong with saying, "Hey, we can only afford to have a couple of kids, or one kid, or whatever the number is, right?" Mm -hmm. And saying that's like we're like that's it for us. Like we we cannot continue to have children, and because we can't afford it, right? Like there's nothing wrong with saying that. And again, this goes back to the whole principle of the idea that God says be fruitful and multiply. He's not it's not a direct command to every single individual person. That's a direct that's a okay. command to, to all of humanity. So that's a good thing to make clear. Yeah. Cause all of my questions were were in that were, I have to? Right. Because I haven't Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And and so but yeah, I, so I think that it's okay to say, hey, we're like financially, here's our limit mm -hmm. of what we can do, and and I think that's okay, perfectly okay. Um, and you know, and and people do that by various means, whether it's you know birth control or whatever it is. There's or or the different types and forms of birth control. Mm -hmm. um, Abortion, not that one. <laughs> Bad option, <laughs> wrong option. Um, don't choose a sinful option. Okay. That would be that sinful option. So I, I think that it's completely fine for people to, again, have those limits. And again, throughout the, throughout the world, this is happening. You know, when mm. I'm in, when I'm in villages in Guatemala, you know, you'll notice the families only have a couple of kids and they're doing all this without birth control. Yeah. And so they're having to make some very, you know, intentional decisions the the couples are of of when they have sex and all all of that because they're having to be very mindful of the fact of we cannot afford to continue to have more kids and so i think it's a real issue throughout the world and and god completely understands that and we're not being judged because we're going oh man we have five kids we got to continue to be fruitful and multiply but we can't afford the five we have much less add on any more to that mm -hmm. So people in America really suck at pulling out. Yeah. Like it's an epidemic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's true. Okay. <laughs> it's so yeah, easy. easy. Just do it. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> anyway. Well, all right. <laughs> we'll let, we'll let Nate have a whole episode on that or something. I don't know. All right. It's crazy, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. I wanted to say something. I'm going to keep it. No, what do you got? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs>